half a point of the season, a lot of excitement for you pair, you know, going to the World Cup for Glasgow City, you know, representative, that's great as well. Just a, a point though, first of all, I'll come to you Nick first, um, we're at the halfway point of the season before you go away at the World Cup, and what's your overall assessment, it's been a flying start? Yeah, I feel like the first half of the season's went quite quick, um, it's, we've got what we've needed to get out of the first half of the season, and that's being top of the league and that's what our objectives were at the start of the season and I think we've done that pretty well and putting in some amount of goals as well so yeah we're delighted with that. Glasgow City are perennially slow starters but get get the results but don't necessarily perhaps play well. This has been you know in either spell you've had at the club is this perhaps the best start City have had? Uh, I think so. Um, normally we create a lot of chances and often or not we, we don't take as many as we probably should and we come away from games feeling really frustrated. Um, there's been some games that even at half time there's maybe only been two or three goals but we've certainly kicked on in the second half of games and really put teams to the, the cosh. Um, the girls up top have been great but I, I think you can see from the goal scorers the goals are coming from you know all across the team and that's credit to the team and the way that we're playing and the confidence that we're showing and, and that ruthlessness as well. How's that enhanced perhaps the build up to the World Cup from a Scotland perspective for, for all the you know, for yourself and all the city players in there? Yeah, I think all you can do is play well at your club. Um your club gives you that foundation to go and perform and, and that's how you, you make your way into the national team and, and you're able to stay there. You need your teammates to be doing well week in, week out and certainly the, the bunch of players that we've got here make that an easy job and an easy task to enjoy um, and then obviously if you win the games and you perform well then it puts you in a good place and certainly I think you know speaking for myself and I don't know about Nick but all the girls are, are full of confidence we're all feeling fit fresh um, you know and delighted that we've put Glasgow City top of the league in, in a strong you know stronghold over the rest of the, the division uh, looking into the second half of the season. Yeah, and with your club performance, Nick, what a world went wind kind of a few months and year, you know, back in Scotland, folding off to France. Yeah, sometimes I need to kind of pinch myself and uh, kind of remind myself that I'm actually going to the World Cup. Um, I don't think it'll feel real until I'm actually on the plane. But yeah, it's it's an incredible honour to represent your country at any given moment. But to go to a World Cup, it's a moment I won't forget. I talked to Lee Alexander about now how she's had to build in a number one role over the last two or three years. But you've been, you know, you're out there for several years and you've fought your way back in, that must be even more sweeter. Yeah, it's, it's obviously amazing to be back in. It was, I went through a bit of a frustrating period um, individually, but I, I just remained to try and get myself back fit, fitter and stronger. And I thought if I was playing well for a club, then I would maybe get that opportunity and it's one that I've got. You've uh, been around for a number of years at international level. Did you think that <laughs> did you think that the chance would come that you'd ever get this moment? It was a confidence that this was going to come one day? Uh, if you think back to the beginning of my career, then probably not. Um, being part of the journey up until now, the qualifying campaign, I've you know probably like Nick had ups and downs, albeit I've, I've been there and I mainstay within you know the squad of 23 for long enough. Um, but when you don't play, it makes you more determined and all you can do, like Nick saying, all you can do is play week in, week out, make yourself better, look at the things that you can Im improve on, uh, control the controllables basically. And, and I think all the Glasgow City players and the Scottish based players have a lot of credit to themselves for the way that they perform week in week out and the job that they do you know looking after ourselves away from football as well because we don't always have that same environment that other players do and um, certainly Nick getting herself back into the squad is there's a huge credit to her as well for that because it isn't easy and when you're given that opportunity like she's had um, you need to go and grasp it with both hands and that's exactly what Nick's done and we've all done I think. Just finally, the build-up is the game against Jamaica. Um, you know, it could be 15, 20,000 plus there. And from the early indications, how excited you know, for you and will all the players be for playing in, in, in that big audience? Yeah, we're incredibly excited. Um, it's one that we want all the fans to come come along to. It's, it's at Hamden, um, such a big stadium. Um, one that we're all buzzing to play in. And if we can get as many people there as possible, it would be brilliant because um, the support makes that such a big difference and for one last game before we get the World Cup it would be nice to get a win with a big atmosphere at Hamden. Absolutely, best of luck out there. Thank you. Thank you very much, cheers.